Part 16 How to Know If a Dogman is Hunting When considering whether a dogman is hunting, how likely it will strike and how it will carry out its attack, there are several questions to be answered. The first one being, what are the various signs a dogman is hunting or stalking? Well, if you hear coyotes yipping, that is a sign that a dogman is hunting. Or when you see one on a high observational point with a panoramic view overlooking and watching humans and the whereabouts of prey. Or when it is paralleling human movements, mimicking or stopping and walking, and it stays off trail while paralleling and stalking those on trail. Also, when it lifts its nose in the air to scent prey. Or when it lurks around an area pre-sighting. Also, when it makes a baby cry or screaming woman noise to attract humans. Or when it parts bushes with its hands to see prey. Or when it urinates on a car, marking its territory, which is a tracking mechanism. In episode 130 of Dogman Encounters, a dogman used psychological warfare, bluff charging every 15 minutes for three hours to tire out a man it was hunting. In another case, a dogman punctured a tire on a car to cause kids to have to stop while they were driving on a road. Moreover, when it rocks back and forth while observing prey. In episode 9 of Dogman Encounters, a dogman rubbed mud on its face as camo. Or when it runs into the middle of lonely roads to cause single cars to stop. In fact, one sees a dogman on roads for a couple of reasons. A. Because of a roadkill. Or B. Because there are easy meals in broken down cars. Also, when you see it salivating when looking at prey. Or when it scouts ahead, also for human prey. Or when it smells someone's outdoor workout equipment to pick up the scent. Or when it sniffs a window to find out who's inside. Also, some, especially young males, act as lookouts. Or when it squats down and crawls up to a house looks up and around, then taps on the window. Or when it tries a door handle. Or when it turns its head left and right to try to scent where its prey is. And lastly, when it watches people's routine before making itself known. The second question to be answered is when a dogman is likely to attack which is when a victim's home alone, which suggests no fear of humans, as it is willing to come into human areas to hunt for targets. It might even break into their houses when they aren't home to get the scent and layout of the place. Or when people are vulnerable, or when their rifle is not at the ready. For example, in Dogman Encounters episode 93, a man with a wrapped knee, meaning he was vulnerable, went missing, indicating he was marked by an intelligent predator as having an exploitable weakness. Or people or animals get separated from their group, and it picks off people who are alone in the morning or at dusk. For example, joggers. Also, if one wears bright clothes, like a hunter might, in the forest, that represent a dogman's meal ticket. It also cases cities or yards and takes the elderly, the young, and the weak. Moreover, when men aren't around, as it has a connection with women, it can also be seen doing reconnaissance, scanning a whole area, or and it also ducks down to avoid being seen. Or it flattens out and does a combat crawl like cats or rabbits do, where it flattens out then springs up. 
It also follows people, seemingly out of curiosity. Or it hangs out in an area and observes. Or it repeats a howl while coming closer to its prey. It even hides in tall grass. Additionally, if it tries to get a domestic animal but gets blocked by the owner, it might kill the owner as happened in the Francis Tetrault case of often dug kennels in New Jersey in the 1960s. Also in October. Many children have met death in October, particularly around the turn of the century in a specific town as viewed from its cemetery headstones, which was discussed in Dogman Encounters episode 160. Or it makes a hissing sound before going from all fours to twos. Or it makes a dog-like gurgling sound just before pouncing. Or when bow hunters don't have firearms to supplement their bows. And finally, when a victim is preoccupied. The third question is how an attack might go down. Well, a dogman will advance if being fired upon in staggers left to right, especially when it has an intent to kill the shooter or it attacks from behind with a massive downward blow. It also attacks from trees or it bites on the back of the neck to subdue its prey like a tiger. Bodies were found in one example chewed to the bone in sight of the house, indicating a stealthy attack with no screams heard. It also leaves victims mutilated, shredded, and partially eaten. Episode 90 of Dogman Encounters recounted authorities finding a body so badly mutilated, first responders weren't sure if it was an animal attack or if the victim had knife wounds. Law enforcement was shocked at the severity and damage done to the body, resembling a shark attack or power tools being used. Bodies are sometimes strewn around the area, with organs missing and limbs torn off, making it an issue to even identify the body. It also breaks off the assault when confronted by an armed adult human male usually if it's a juvenile dog man, or it grabs a human prey from his yard and tears him apart in a short time. One might attack from the low front, while another attacks the back leg. So one dog man distracts, and the others flank in silence. It might release infrasound, which is a low frequency sound below 20 megahertz. Infrasound is a low frequency oscillation that travels through the skull and can cause ear ringing, dizziness, palpitation, imbalance, and motion sickness. Tigers release it when they roar while hunting. If one feels a chilly spine, unease, or something wrong, it means a predator is probably using infrasound. It is usually directed at one hunter or animal, so he feels sick and stays behind, separating from his companions, and becomes easy prey. Or it rips through the chest cavity with one motion, going towards the neck to decapitate the head from the victim. It also rips through clothes, it is also known to slice the heart into pieces. Or, when a victim is set upon, he doesn't hear or see anything beforehand. Unlike a normal dog attack, it comes out of nowhere. A final note. A predator's paradise is, one, a thick and heavy wood so they can hunt without being seen. Two, fields with high grass, or three, being near water, which brings in prey.